Hello everyone, and welcome back to Adam's Legacy, where we are going to pick up right where we left off last time with one very fussy nicheling who is known as the Rock Spirit amongst our Adam's Legacy tribe, refusing all advances from any of the males who try to flirt with her. I mean, she just gave birth to this perfectly fine baby boy named Ain, who does have a water body and a immunity. And what are all of these males about? A Immediately flirting with her right afterward instead of giving her a good snack of a berry. But yes guys, we're gonna pick up right where we left off, so do be sure to check out the video description for a link to our playlist in case you need to catch up and understand where this lovely rock spirit Tana happened to come from. But while she continues to refuse and rebuff every advance that any of the males give her, let's carry on with expanding our territory, working all of the nichelings who have e-immunity up to the north, and gathering as much resources as we, as we can before we get ready to leave for the next island, which will hopefully happen very soon because we do want to get a lot of swimming done before a bunch of our swimming nichelings get too old and potentially will either need to stop and have babies or will die before we have a chance to explore any further. So with those very dramatic notes aside, all right, let's see. We've already got little baby Mia, who is one of the nichelings with E and home island immunity, working her way to the north as quickly as she can go. And then the only other nicheling who has E immunity in the entire group, if I remember correctly, another one of these females, aha, is Anna. And so Anna is actually going to come over and we'll let her flirt with Hex. So even though Hex was just rebuffed and denied from Tana, we'll go ahead and let Anna compliment his wonderful, beautiful Savannah horns and say that even if Tana's not interested, well, Anna might be. And we're gonna have her potentially pass on normal eyesight and Let's do fishing tail. I want to see what happens if we can get some fishing tail water body nichelings going. So is she able to catch the eye of Hex, who has just been rebuffed otherwise by Tana? She did! Yes! Okay! And even though she might really want that food, I'm going to go ahead and let her use some of her precious nesting material to have a nest! Excellent! And Jalara has also been trying to work her way down here because she would be a good mate. Let's see. Jalara, who could you be a good mate with? H and G immunity, H and home island immunity, G and home island immunity. Hmm. Really, unfortunately, I think that Jalara might have to wait on possibly becoming a mate with someone, but we'll have her jump down and help to start clearing away the reeds so that we can get further to the north and pick out the 10 nichelings who will be going to the new lands with us. Some of those might be babies at this point. All right, Ken? You can go ahead. You have recessive toxic body, which is nice. And you can help clear out some of the grasses. And is there anyone you could mate with? You have G and star immunity. H and star. A and G. Hmm. H and G. See, we really need to get that variety going. G and star. All right, Ken, you come on down and you help start clearing away the rest of the... Uh, the grasses as well. And then over here, Dim has had many healthy, happy babies with Kiwi. Uh, Kiwi, ooh, Kiwi. Let's see. Where did I just send? Let's see, H and G immunity. No, Kiwi would not be a good match with Jalara, unfortunately. Or Ken. Oh, we really need to have more genetic variety amongst our nichelings. All right, we'll get uh, Dem. She'll tidy up her nest, try to dig out this root that she can just barely see peeking out of the ground, and then H and G immunity on not. Hmm. A and G, H and A. Okay. I think we have pretty much everybody we'll probably want to take. So I'm just going to work on getting our nichelings worked towards the north. And Ko with H and star immunity water body good fertility ability to collect and to crack good 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 yeah we'll just get kind of everybody started to get really excited and clustered up to the north ready to go ready to explore we just need to wait for a few of these last nichelings and last babies to potentially be born or make it up here 
And Joe, who is an amazing fighter and fisher, I might get Joe down to start doing some fishing. We'll have the excited water body nichelings start chasing a bunch of fish in circles and potentially getting some resources there. Meanwhile, over on this island, things are at a different pace. This side of the Nishling tribe has really started to calm down and kind of feel okay with staying in this area, gathering up the grasses, chasing off the Berina. I think they're really starting to become more comfortable with life over here. And I think we'll have Audrey go ahead and mate with Moku before he dies of like his wounds. And then we're not in a rush for her to have that baby, but I just want them to be able to pass on their genes and keep the nichelings of this island constantly gathering up food resources for us. All right, Lin Lin will gather up, let's see. We'll have Lin Lin gather up that nut, those berries, and try to dig up that root. Yes, an unlock digging paw. We don't want to really use that right now, but at least now we have unlocked digging paw. So that is very useful for us. Probably not useful right now, but it will be in the future. And then let's gather up these nuts, kick the tree, gather up the nuts. There we go. Try to noodle doodle the worms. Good job, Janar. And then we'll have Tata, the trickster god, uh, go ahead and stick with this side of his family that he has now found and help gather up more resources. So we've got a ton of nesting material and quite a bit of food now. So I think we'll be good. We just need to move up to the north. All right, so we have two pregnant nichelings on this day of celebration as the rain continues to fall from the sky. And Mira, you go ahead and show us what you have got, Mira. And I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and change Mira to possibly pass on that fishing tail. And then let's see what one of her last children will be. Oh, a little last baby girl. Look at her. She's so cute. So this is Lara. And Lara, let's get a good look at you. Oh, look at that coloring. I love the mixes that we have started to get on these babies. And Lara doesn't have the home island immunity, but we only want about half of the nichelings who we're sending to have home island immunity and half of them to have a variety of other genes, maybe more like two third to one third. So Lara, you're still on the list to possibly go. And we're actually going to name you Beck after Rebecca. So this is going to be a little Beck. In fact, we're going to name her Beck, Beak, Beak. Oh, I like it. There we go. We'll name her Beak just because that sounds so cute. After Rebecca Kane. So Rebecca, thank you so much for joining us on our Nishling adventures. I love Nishlingalizing your guys' names. So do keep those comments coming because then you will have a chance to be added in to Adam's legacy as well. So welcome to Little Beck. And I think with Mira's final day here, I am going to go ahead and let her have a one more child with Tatri just on the off chance that and he'll he'll get a nut to offer her and some comfy nesting material and then we'll go ahead and let mira settle in recycle her old nest and get ready to have her final child because mira's children have been amazing they truly have all right then we have little flu who does have home island immunity fire does not and then we're gonna have these little ones clear out some grasses i'm gonna have joe clear the grass so she can see the water and we're actually gonna have a lot of our nichelings start diving in and while we are passing time waiting for the last of these little babies to be born we're going to start doing a bit of fishing to see what the waterways have to offer all right ken you're gonna come and join in on the fishing games we might do a bit of a bit of hunting for those yummy fish and then dragon you clear that away just so that i see where we're going and here is our other baby so oh he's got savannah horns nice he's really hard to see on these kinds of <gasps> and a fishing tail yes very hard to see on these kinds of dark days but welcome to little drum after every drummel welcome little drum to the tribe you have g and star immunity which is quite nice i really want to see that e immunity if you don't mind though anna that's what we're really after <laughs> oh my goodness i need e immunity you too i would really appreciate having it 
<laughs> and we're gonna really have to be discerning though because I pretty much only want water bodied nichelings headed to the next land to be honest all right let's see if pride on can swallow his pride and come humbly before Tana of the rock goddesses her, his rock goddess and express that perhaps he was too forceful next time but truly he is just so enchanted with her spots and she wasn't taking it all right let's try this uh who should get a chance to flirt next we'll go ahead and let dragon have a chance to flirt next and he will swear that as soon as he knows that a child is on the way he will dive into the waters and he will begin seeking out delicious fish <gasps> Yay! He appealed to her appetite! And that is actually apparently what Tana wants. So she's going to eat some delicious berries. And Dragon's going to live up to his promise and dive in to start gathering fish. Meanwhile, Hex is going to go ahead. And I think he will flirt with Anna again. Having found a new mate in a different direction. And then we're going to go ahead and Anna will just kind of scooch around and get ready for hopefully finding more food resources. All right, little co, let's scoot you forward. Not, I might send you two. It's going to be quite the conundrum when we pick like which nichelings to send and which ones to keep with us. But hopefully it'll be okay. And we do have an adult friendly Barina now. I mean, that is an option. And Dim has A and star immunity. Oof. Oof. You know what, Dim? It's just, it's too, too much to resist that. I, I think we need to go ahead. She's going to flirt with her husband again, her mate, and have another baby just because that A immunity is so ridiculously precious as well. Meanwhile, Rox can gather up some of these berries. She'll try to gather up some of those roots. And really, we kind of need to get a move on because there's not a lot of food if we just like hang out up here the whole time. So we really need to think about skedaddling. Mia, I don't know if you're going to make it in time, but we're going to send you rushing as quickly as we can to try to join the tribe because your E and star immunity would be perfect. We really don't need to worry because we have all of the nichelings that we already need, technically. We're just kind of getting a few last minute options. All right. And then I do think that Moku will spend his final days maybe exploring the edges of the beach and I'm going to let Moku spend his final moments on the sand watching the fish at his feet and enjoying all of the beautiful flowers that he has discovered that his child will potentially discover in their future meanwhile let's gather up tumble there we go get a little bit of food here all right let's see there's a lot of berry bushes up here so we'll head that way too ah oh, I can't hunt that guy Oh, and Lin Lin passed away. No! Lin Lin! Oh, your daughter will stay here and remember you always, Lin Lin. We will respect your bones. We will gather under this tree of life the food that you have left for your children. Oh my. And, and we will remember Lin Lin always, my friends, because she was amazing. She was really our elder of this tribe for quite a long time. Oh, Mesa! I totally forgot you were over here. I'm sorry, my dear. Let's get you... Oh, you found some fish, at least. We'll get you over to the rest of the tribe. But all right, I think... Honestly, as soon as Mia, like, touches down on the side, we really should go ahead and just get out of here and pick the best nichelings. Youngest with a big genetic diversity. And just swim on. Uh, so, let's see... All right, it is the final moments of Mira, though, who has provided us with so many of this Northern Water Tribe family. Let's go ahead and respect her final moments and her last child. Oh, Mira, I am gonna miss you so much. And you had a healthy baby girl, a healthy baby girl named Celine. Oh, that's actually a really cool name. I think I'll leave that, that name. But a healthy little girl named Celine. Oh, look at her. And we lost some other nichelings. Yes, yes, we did lose Moku. And who else? Really? He was that old? I didn't realize that our little guy was that old. Oh, oh my goodness.
goodness. All right. So there's been a bit of drama. We have little Celine born. G and star immunity. And she also has water body. That's good. Let's go ahead and see if we can bring down. Here, I'm going to jump over here to give some vision. But we're going to go ahead and see if... Ooh, that scared me for a second with the friendly Barina. If Mia, she's really the one who's going to determine when we leave. If Mia can get over there in time. And then over here, we actually have... Right little here. Right here. Oh, look at that! Another swimming tail! Oh, that's really useful. And this is actually going to be Bod. After Bad Cookie. <laughs> so good to see you again, Bad Cookie. Uh, and you're going to be this really epic looking cracker jawed, nimble fingered, clawed, swimming tailed, tiger shark nicheling. Ready to go. And do you have that A immunity? Yes, that glorious A immunity. So we can get A immunity going. <gasps> and who is this? Another A and H immunity little boy with water body. Look at this guy. This is actually going to be Zom. Oh, he looks so cool with his tiger striping. Wow. Okay, so Zom, he does not have very good fertility. So he may not end up getting picked as one of the ones to go. I really need E immunity. E immunity, so bad. Uh, but we do have Mia on her way and she is bringing that E immunity with us. Let's see if we can get another flirt going between Tana and the many, many members. Pride on's last moments. Will he be able to praise with everything he's got Tana for the many handsome and strong offspring she has had? All right, that didn't work. All right, Pride on, don't give up yet. Let's think about how else you could flirt with her. Hmm. Perhaps telling her that you will feed her only the finest berries you can find. Ah, yes, okay, that worked. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna let her go ahead and actually jump over and make a nest right here. In case we have an E immunity baby, we can just gently roll him onto the spot and get ready to jump islands, because it is indeed time. All right, let's see. Anything else? We'll come back here. I'm gonna just gather up what resources we can for food, do a little exploring. Do a little food gathering. We'll go ahead and maybe do a little bit of hunting. There we go with Tata. And we'll let his short-sighted father Bo go ahead and settle himself in maybe to try. Yes, we'll just start pulling up some of the berry bushes because it is that time. And then we'll gather up what we can. Oh, 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 there we go. And Linlin -Lin will begin the hunt having used her toxic fangs. All right, yeah, I do think it's about that time for this island of nichelings to kind of consider themselves separate from the other. We've got little bad we might send because he has swimming tail, so we'll have to see how quickly he can swim when he gets older. We have little Celine who has fishing tail. No, she does not have fishing tail. One of these little babies has fishing tail somewhere. We'll find him eventually. And Joe, who is ready to dive into the waters and do some fishing, if we can find fish with Ame. Aha, fish! All right, we'll see if we can chase those fish down. Dragon said he was, aha, fish! Oh dear, our nichelings are not very good at fishing. We're gonna really have to work on that. But Ken managed to get some fish. Yes, she also needs some help because she has, unfortunately, um, a leech. And then we'll have little Drom step down. We'll have his mother Anna step in. And then we'll take care of this leech with Hex and Clint, just to make sure that we don't have to worry about being bleached. All right. All right, so I think we're almost there, friends. We really are right on the final edges. We just need to figure out what else we need to do before our nichelings are ready to go across to the island and which ones to take with us. We're just going to scoot everybody we can right up to the very edges, though, so we at least know who our options are to be able to send. There we go. Very nice indeed. And then we'll gather up a little bit more of various resources, destroy the nest so that the nest will have resources. And I definitely want to take at least flu or fire because they have purr snout and can do healing. <sighs> All right, we're almost there, almost there, almost there. 
definitely need to keep the way lit up so that Mia can just make a straight run for it. And as soon as Mia sets her paws down and she is able to comfortably land on the spot, then we are sending whatever other nichelings we have onwards. We'll look for the best swimming strength. We will look for a good, healthy diversity of genes. And then Prydon, you go ahead and get comfy. Your final child is about to be born. Phew! And we will get a move on. But all right, let's finish off with Prydon's final child and our hopes that Mia will be able to make that rush to the north. Prydon, he's beautiful. You would be so proud, I promise. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please go ahead and leave a like that hopefully this little baby right over here will have... Oh, she's got water body. She's got good fertility. But does she have e immunity? We will have to see next time. If you guys could, do please leave a like for that luck. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.